Okay, part three, guys, is once I have it soldered and I've cleaned it up and I'm ready to set my stone, it's the last thing I do. You cannot set a stone and try to work with the metal um, while it's in there because you cannot apply heat to a stone. It will explode and crack. And you can scratch your stone very easily with the metal smithing tools. So think of it as like riveting or a cold connection. It's one of the last things you do. Okay, so here's my masterpiece. And now I'm going to set my stone. And notice that I've put a hole here. And I really, really want to make sure that I have that hole there because if I put my stone in and I'm checking to see if it fits and I don't have a hole, it will get stuck in there and I won't be able to get it out. Okay? So I put that in there so that I can get this back out with like a, I think I have a scribe over there. Will someone grab me a scribe, guys? A uh, solder pick or something? Solder pick somebody? Someone grab me a solder pick, please. Thanks, bud. Yep. Perfect. Okay, so that's why the hole is there. Perfect. Now, if I'm going to set my stone, I'm going to put this back in here, and I'm going to make sure that I have it in there really well. I need a ball peen hammer. Will you get me a small ball peen hammer? Thank you. Okay, so I'm gonna use the T-pusher. This is a burnisher, and this is just a regular flat um, stone setter. And I'm gonna do the north, south, east, and west situation again. And I'm gonna use this. This is the T-bezel pusher. And I'm gonna push it this way. A ball peen small hammer. And then that. Now I'm going to go west to east here, and I'm going to get a scalloped look, okay? Now we're going to go like to 1 o'clock. We're alternating signs constantly, and I'm going to have a rippled effect. Thank you very much. Forgot to grab that. So now I have this like rippled look. Stone's not going to come out, but that doesn't look very clean, right? Here's another one that's not totally done. Where's the one that is done? Okay. This one's getting closer to being done, but I would even still work on that more. But do you see how clean that is? Now from here, there's a few things you can do. You can continue using the T-pusher, but it starts to get kind of work hardened and hard to push those little um, bubbles over. So what you could do is you could directly use the ball peen hammer and hit on the side, not hitting your stone, and kind of flip and go opposite ways. That might freak you out because you could crack the stone if you hit it too hard. What you could do is grab a buddy. Hey, bud. Will you hammer this for me? And he's going to hammer on here. Stop. Okay. And you're just going to slide. Keep going. You're just going to slide around the stone and work together. Stop. Okay. Go ahead. Stop. Do you see how I've done that side and this side is still lifted up? That is kind of what you're kind of working towards. You're trying to get that wall to close over the stone. Okay, and those, these are the tools you can use. This final tool is called your burnisher, and what this does, once you have it all set, you can go around it, and it will put a nice, clean effect on the edge. Burnish, shining it, okay? Smoothing it out. Everybody understand? Yes. Thank you very much for listening.